Hey to my awesome women over 40, because I'm 50. Like me, I'm on a mission to help y'all get married. If you so choose, I really want you to attract and keep the love you desire and deserve. And I talk about the finest woman. I'm not going to get off of that on my channel. Um, it's fit, feminine, friendly, fun, interesting, nice, exciting, energetic, sexy, sassy, trauma-free. And let me tell you something. I know that it's the wild, wild west. I talk about y'all being on the clearance rack. And then the men, too. This ain't just the women, because y'all men watch my videos, too. I'm talking about where can I find these women? And I meet a lot of men, a lot, okay, that'll say, well, if I could meet someone like you or around your age or this one I'm looking for, I know what they're looking for. And I'm going to tell you that the type of woman that many of you men are looking for, they're looking for you, but you're, you just might be overlooking them because they might be a little bit overweight. Maybe they're still trying to get their lives together. They're still working on a few things. So give it a chance. <laughs> Baby face, don't have a song like that. Give it a chance. And I'll say this as well. Um, I've been really trying to make sure that we all understand men and women, marriage is work, meaning it's work to stay in love. This is what I'm realizing. It's not like, like the thing that has been said all these years by Mary, when all I got is so much work, I wouldn't do it again. Well, they wouldn't do it again because they see it as work, hard work, like, you know, labor intensive. And it's, it's just not, it is staying in love with someone that may or may not be emotionally meeting needs that, um, need to be fulfilled for a woman. And most men overlook it. And for the men that are watching my videos, most of y'all just overlook it. You get the ring, you get all excited. And when they say the honeymoon phase is over, she's still doing her best to keep your attention, right? To stay in love. And you're just kind of back to things are normal. Protect, I go to work every day. I'm providing and leading, but like she wants to be noticed and appreciated. If she's doing the work, acknowledge that she's doing the work. Figure out her love language is like, do a little bit of work if it's words of affirmation, then she needs you to build, to say things. She's already built up, honey. But she needs you to say things. Oh, honey, you look amazing. They go by and tap on her, her booty and things like that. If words of affirmation, excuse me, uh, quality time, she needs you just 15 minutes a day, you know, sit with her. Well, you don't have to sit down, talk, just talk, communicate. Um, many of you all are just still really busy with life. Physical touch, she needs the physical touch outside of the bedroom, acts of service. I see a lot of men in this stage of life that want to do, 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 do. And what I'm noticing with the women over 40 is they don't necessarily need you to do. They, they really just desire this time. Quality time is like becoming one of the top two and three when I'm talking with women. They want your time. They want to travel with you. They want to go out to eat. They, they just want to do things that maybe they didn't get to do in their youth with you. And then gifts. Of course, you know, women like gifts, but they like the type of gifts they like to receive. And again, I'm finding, I actually was talking with my hairstylist. <laughs> she said, we were talking about some things. She's um, married 22 years and widowed 12 years. And recently met another widower and they're they're seeing each other and she we were talking about like gift giving and for many men like you guys give these outrageous gifts that most of the time for whatever reason they're not the type of gifts that the woman you're with want not that they don't want to receive them but they don't necessarily want them you might be into design or everything she may not be concentrate on what she's wearing and what she's doing and what she's saying and things like that but um it takes work to stay in love on both sides and it's Typically why men don't stay for a long time, because y'all don't see nothing wrong. And then the woman has literally fallen out of love. She's literally just fallen out of love with you. And once that happens for her and she doesn't feel like she loves you, she can't sleep with you anymore. And then everything else is just downhill, because if she doesn't sleep with you, then you don't feel loved, valued, or respected. So see where this goes? Love, value, respect, appreciation. She wants to be your peace, paradise, and pleasure. And then for you, you want to be her distinguished and um, educated and experienced and admirable man that she adores. It's, it's the same. It's in tandem, right? But we both have to work to stay in love. So again, as I'm learning all of this, y'all think I'm making these videos. I'm not doing YouTube full time, which is why I have to run in and run out. That's why I have a sporadic upload schedule. That's why there's no cadence to it. YouTube has always been fun. I have a main channel called Spark Wisdom. Check it out. I use my real name. Um, online. I'm Googleable. It takes up 100 pages because it's like there's only three Montinas, me, Beyonce's background singer, and um, a lady that sued R. Kelly. It's like very few. Um, my, one of my daughter's middle names is uh, Montina. I'm actually the third in my family. She's the fourth. So I'm not, I'm not hiding, but this is really a passion project. It's just fun. And when it's not fun anymore, I probably won't do it. I haven't uploaded a video on my Spark Wisdom channel in like a year or two. 
so I just give, 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 give until I can't give anymore. And then I'm, I'm gone. Uh, I don't do social media anymore. So YouTube's like my fun thing. I feel like I'm literally talking to um, friends, you know, people that, that want better. We want to know better. And one of the challenges that I've had is I have struggled in marriages um, because I didn't understand the work required for a marriage. And probably if I would have understood it initially, I, I know I wouldn't be a number three. If I would have understood the value that I hold in my relationship, it's always been me. You know, I can't look back and say, oh, it's, a, it's always been the lack of responsibility, but as a, it's my responsibility, but it's always been me. It's me waking up one day and it's like, I don't want to be in this anymore. I'm tired of this. And it's like, that's a shock to a person, but, but it, it's a shock because I did not want to work to stay in love. It was me. And so when I'm coming out and doing these things, I'm just like, oh, now do I want to go back to any of my exes? Oh, hell no. <laughs> I have to use a cuss word on that one. No, 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 no. I'm good. But I also understand when many of you are commenting on my videos, you're like, I would never get married again. And we all kind of say that until Mr. Right or Right One comes along or Right Woman comes along. But I'll tell you what, my husband, I, I was really on the fence. And he's like, would you get married again? And I was like, mm, nah, yeah, okay. But I just didn't see the need. I honestly did not understand why he wanted to get married. Now, I understand for masculine men, it's it's sort of an ownership, I guess. You know, he wanted me to have his last name. He, he's proud of me in a lot of ways, but I have my own insurance still. Um, you know, he pays the bills. You know, I hate to say it's his home. We're married, but it's his home. Um, you know, so he was paying the bills before I moved in. Uh, my monies are fun free to do with the F we want money. So, like, I wasn't necessarily doing these things, you know, I had a very set income in terms of my um, set bills, you know, and then my kids, of course, you know, my son was, he used to spend, okay. Um, so in a lot of ways, I've increased my expenses versus decreased because just because I'm not contributing to the household doesn't mean I don't contribute to the household. Um, other things, when you're in relationships, you tend to buy gifts for the person. I wouldn't buy nobody no Christmas gifts for my kids and I had a budget. Um, but I might see something my husband likes. He might see something I like. So you tend to actually spend a little bit more in relationships. I own a company. Um, if you guys don't know, just Google me. So, you know, I still have cost of good service. I have operating expenses. I have a lot. I have to deal with clients. So it's not like all of my entire business went away. It did not. So for many of you, again, it, it may not be the right thing for you to get married, but it could be a business decision or not. But like I said, for me and my husband, it really was more like he wanted to get married. And I was like, okay, I don't, I don't see why not. But I do see for some of you over long-term relationships are best. I have a friend, she's been in a long-term relationship. She's decided like marriage is not for them. She's, she's been twice married. She's like, girl, I can't do it again. Because in her second marriage, the spouse, the ex-spouse passed, the kids had to come live with them. And she said it was pure hell. She's like, I'd never do it again. But she recently said she was moving out of state to where her grandkids are. And I was like, girl, well, what about your man? She was like, girl, I'm not married. I can do what I want. And you do have freedom to just get up and go, literally. One day I was at my, my husband's house and I was like, oh, you know, I'm going back to my place. And I was here for, you know, I was spending the night, but I had my own place for like over a year. I kept it. And one day he's like, you're not going there anymore. You need to give up your lease. And I'm like, he's like, you live here now. Like you've been here. And I did not want to give it up at first. I'm like, oh. You know, I've sold a home before that I built from the ground up to move to Atlanta with a husband. So you got to think about a lot. So again, I'm on a mission to help you get married if that's the right choice for you. But if you're getting like, you know, an alimony, if you're widowed and get the pension and you get married and all of it goes away, that might not be the best decision for you. Um, you can you can get your own benefits. There's a company I use called Redirect Health. It's not expensive. Um, and I prefer my um, insurance over TRICARE because I get a therapist, I get a life coach, I get my chiropractic care. So my insurance is actually better than my husband's military, retired military insurance. So I'm just trying to keep it all the way real with y'all. You know, everybody get on this femininity and get, it ain't hard to get out here and get no man. Um, a lot of you all, my women, don't want the men that you qualify for. And my men... Y'all don't want the women y'all qualify for. Tell me, I want an age-appropriate woman. You want a woman around your age, but you're looking at these women younger than you. And some of y'all don't even want to accept the women that are that are your age. There's a lot of women out there like me. They ain't like me, but they're they're similar. 
okay? Not the same. They're similar. They're beautiful women. They're kind women. They're nice women. They've been through some things and maybe you can suggest some, you know, um, therapy and, you know, let them know you're in therapy because you should be in therapy too. When I met my husband, he had, had a, at the time had a therapist and he probably needs to go back into some therapy because some things are surfacing. I'm like, whoa, where's that coming from? But I'm looking back and there are some things that have been there. So just shifting the conversation to have a conversation on marriage, relationships, attraction. Y'all, come on. Out of the billions of people in the world, you can't find somebody. Come on. Quit playing. It's not the person you want. He's too short. She's too fat. Um, you know, she got the menopause belly. He got missing teeth. He's balding. Um, you know, he has a, a weird scent to him. She's um, got corns on her toes because she wore heels all her life. Or she, um, you know, her hips are too wide because she didn't have five babies. She got stretch marks. You know, he um, he got a real weird voice. I'm, I, I mean, I could tell you stuff for days and I could tell you stuff my husband and I experienced in our relationship. When you're older, things are different. If you wanted the best, you should have stayed in the marriage that you had in your 20s and possibly your 30s. Because now you get what you qualify for. Oh, well, Montina, you're pick me. Pick whatever word you want to call it. You guys act like people are offended on the line. I don't know you. <laughs> I don't know you in real life. I don't. I don't care what you say on the internet. It's, I don't know you. And being a pick me, like you guys say stuff on the internet that you wouldn't really say to people's faces in real life. Like, that's so weird. You would never walk up to someone and they're talking about they got a man. And you'd be like, you're a pick me. Like, y'all weird as hell doing stuff like that. Don't be delusional. Kevin Samuels is one of her saying things, chew the meat, spit out the bones. There's others online. But at some point, I have a friend at Pilates, and she's a white girlfriend. And she said one thing she's learned about men, she said she learned it from her mom. And she's probably 10 years at least older than me. She learned it from her mom's friends. Men, she said, their wives pass, they will remarry within six months top. They don't want to be alone. But y'all women tell me, I don't want to nurse and I don't want to do this. Get a good set of girlfriends. But but have both. I have a great set of girlfriends. I'm going to Greece this year. We're going to Napa, um, Wine Valley. I don't even drink wine, but I'm going. We're going to New York to some rooftop stuff and teas. We, we travel the world. My husband doesn't necessarily want to travel internationally. Now, I didn't realize this when we married. I really didn't. But now that I know, I'm like, okay, no problem. Maybe he will when we get older. We've talked about an RV. But you all, but then y'all get with the women and then y'all, y'all want to do the single women is talk about you want a man. Now, do you want a man or do you not want a man? You know what? Let me grab my book because that's one of the things that he talks about here in um, How to Stay in Love. He said, marriage and other committed relationships fail for two fundamental reasons. You don't know what you want and you can't express what you want. What do you want from a man? Men are simple, sex, silence, sandwich. Sometimes it's too much silence because like my husband, I eat, you know, I eat at the table by myself because I don't want to eat in front of the TV. I just want to eat in front of the TV. He'll take his food upstairs in the room and just eat it because he want to watch. He loves TV. I don't. I, I sit at the table literally and read. But guess what? When we want to talk, when we want to communicate, when we want to be intimate. So there's so much more to this, but you all don't know what you want out of a man. And that's what frustrates the men around our age because they're like, I don't know what she wants. Even with my husband, there's times he probably, he, he says I get on his nerves. I don't care. But there's times when I, I just need him and I can't communicate it more than I just need you. I need help. You know, I need to be intimate. I need to, you know, just 15 minutes. But I know why I need these things because I need to stay in love. Okay. So it is what it is, y'all. I got I to gotta go. I got work to do. But you're not going to get away from this being the finest for my women. You over 40, you really need to get your, your life together. Okay. Stop. And some of you all, you're not great friends because you complain too much. I have group friends. Okay. I don't really like to do a lot of one-on-one on ones because if you're complaining about something, mm -mm, no ma'am, if it's not unicorns and rainbows, we ain't got nothing to talk about. I like men. I like all men. I love to look at them. I love to talk to them. A man today was talking to me. I was getting ready to leave the gym. I always take a picture. I take a waving picture like this. I stand and take and I wave and I send it to a couple of my girlfriends because I'm trying to get them to work out. Um, either Pilates, it's a motivation. And then I take a back pic like this and I just toot my booty up and send it to my husband. So people in the gym know I do this. I went to Pilates, then I went over to my gym. I sat in the sauna, did a couple videos. 
And the, the, the trainer there, hey, Mr. Travis, he ain't probably watching this video. Nice looking 57 year old man, gray beard, just a real nice trainer, but he's married. And so I was getting ready to leave. He said, did you get your photo? I saw, you know, I got my photo. I said, I'm trying to encourage my friends. And I sent one to my husband. I said, well, my girlfriends are like, they don't want to get their hair sweaty. And, you know, he and I talked about it. He said, they're not focused on the right things. And he's like, I'm 57. Now we, I've seen him in passing on, hey, what's going on? But he's like, look, I'm 57. He said, you know, I got out the military in 2017. I didn't want to work out for a while. He said, but then I realized I'm retired, but not expired. And he had to work out. Same thing for my men, same thing for my women. Y'all got to work out. People on here, like they telling you to be healthy. I'm telling you so you look good. <laughs> you know, yeah, you'll be healthy. But sis, when you look good, you feel good. Your confidence level is higher. I had to stop looking like Miss Sealy. I really, you know, I make videos. I don't care because I've, I've been a YouTuber since 2009. So, uh, I mean, literally millions of people see me. I ain't on here. I, I'm not going to be fresh faced and blah, 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 blah. This is how I look in real life. Okay. This is how I look in real life. Now, I ain't doing videos, you know, people do them in the shower, in the bedroom and stuff. This is me in real life. But I did not like the last videos. My, my, I looked like Miss Sealy. So what did I do? I went and got my hair done. Okay, roller set. Today I have on my hat. I have on this little Velcro band. So when I take it off, ooh, my hair, you know, will be curly when I take it down. You don't want to look like Miss Sealy at the gym if you're single. You need to look amazing at the gym. Now, if you're married, you probably should look good too, but I ain't going to worry about it because my hair, let me put my little thing back on because my hair ain't dry and I need it to be dry. Get your little Velcro thing. You can get the little gym thing, but put your little hat on. I got the little hat at TJ Maxx. I don't wear these hats on purpose to say workout and fit and all that. It's just because I like the way they fit on my face. See, they fit real cute on my face. So that's it. Thanks for spending 20 minutes with me tea time in the mornings. But I'm trying to have a real conversation with you. I don't have a femininity course to sell you. I don't have a, a fitness course to sell you. I do have a Patreon society called the Happy Wife Project because I really want to get a good group of about 100 women. And I want us to live out like encouraging each other because this, this is not hard, but it's work. And it's reality and it's the real raw truth. And yeah, we talk about it with our therapists and this and that. But if you're in a group and you're just like, girl, not to complain, but just like, I'm in there just like, it's, it's work to stay in love. And we're sharing books. We're sharing information. We're encouraging each other. The 20% outside your marriage you need, you have girlfriends to recharge with. I'm going to Greece. Hey, I'd love to invite some of y'all. I might put in my happy wife project. It's, it's, oh, it's a group here I go to in um, Atlanta. There's a group of us. Y'all can come. Maybe some of you don't have good relationships with girlfriends, but that's it. I'm not trying to get rich off y'all. It's like 20 bucks a month. Hell, I think there's a $10 a month option. If you don't have $10 a month, how much? I paid $800 to meet with Kevin because I was like, man, something different about my husband. But you know what? If I know, knew what I knew now, I would have, I wish there was someone like me because I would have vetted my husband a little bit more and asked some challenging questions and made some, I wouldn't have made a different decision. I, I would choose him again. He's, he's a cool guy. But I would have been more intentional about stating things up front that I desired. Like, hey, you know, okay, you're not willing to travel here. Are you willing to travel here? Are you willing to do this? There's some things I would have done differently. And I have a whole list of 20 plus questions in the Happy Wife Project that y'all need to ask. Because nobody ever talking about it. Like, oh my God, my husband's amazing. And I can read between the lines with people with some of their husbands on the internet talking some of these men didn't have no jobs like i'm telling you, my husband's retired military pension 30 percent goes to his ex-wife um you know 100 percent service disabled he get a check he does work for the government um on an air force base i work i you know i'm i'm above six figures um i've done very very well and for us finances are not an issue but we have other external issues that come into our marriage and Right now, I know what they are and I can talk about them in the Happy Wife Project because you're going to experience them too, dealing with older men. They are different. There are different nuances that they have. Nobody's on the internet talking about it, but I'm going to talk about it, okay? 
So we at the 20 minute mark. Let me go, let me go, let me go, let me go, let me go. Y'all have been amazing. And just drop me a, an emoji below that is of your choice to start doing. And um, let me know what you're going to do if you're married or not to stay in love. I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Peace, y'all.